Welcome to our next dinner table. I'm Cassandra and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Mariposa. Mariposa has you taking on the life of a butterfly and maturing through the generations, traveling north, gaining points, and then going back south. If you like this video, hit that button and it would be great if you could subscribe and hit that bell icon to get reminders of the newest videos. Lay out the map board and the way station board. Randomly select a card from each season deck and place each face down on the map board on their corresponding color. Flip the spring card face up. The rest of the season decks can go back into the box. We're just not going to use them this game. Place the 12 different life cycle decks on their respective locations on the way station board. Randomly select and place a life cycle ability card face up to the right of each set of life cycle cards. The remaining ability cards can go back into the box. We won't be needing any more this game. To the right of the way station board, you will place the bonus move decks face up. The way station tokens that look like this will go face down randomly on each city on the map board. Each player will receive a score marker and the 10 matching butterfly pieces. The butterflies are labeled by generation one through four. Each generation one butterfly will go on Makoa Khan. Each player places one of their generation two butterflies on the summer goal and two of their generation three butterflies on the fall goal card. The remaining deck is the action deck. Shuffle it and deal two cards to each player. The rest will be placed face down near the board. The flower tokens and the flower die will also be placed um, near the board in easy reach of all players. The first player is chosen randomly and then setup's complete. There are three seasons. Each season has the number of turns indicated underneath that season's name. So spring has four, summer five, and fall six. On your turn, you will move, gain a resource, possibly breed new butterflies, and then draw a new card. Butterflies live a really fruitful life. To move your butterflies, you'll play an action card from your hand. For each butterfly on the action card, you can move up to that many butterflies. The arrows dictates the number of spaces you move. You can also move one butterfly multiple times, counting each butterfly on the card as an individual move. At the end of each individual move, you'll collect resources. More on that later. There are also action cards that let you reuse previous actions played during that season. These only count towards the standard action cards, not the bonus move action cards. Any number of butterflies can be on any given spot at any time. Once played, the action card will stay face up in front of you as a turn marker. After each movement action, you collect the flower token or tokens indicated on the space where your butterfly stopped. So I should have collected one red flower. If you land on a way station, you gain the listed item shown on the reverse of the way station token. If you were the first to land there, you'll also get to roll the die for a bonus flower token. The die has one wild card flower that lets you choose which token will be most beneficial for you. Most way stations will give you life cycle cards. You can only have one of each card, but at end of game, they're worth one point each. They're not only good for end of game points though. If you complete a set, you get the bonus 
that's to the right of that set. You could also land on those bonus move cards. You are only ever able to get the bonus move once. So once you have played it, it will permanently stay in front of you as a reminder not to collect another of that type. You'll want to breed your butterflies every season before they die. If your butterfly lands on a space adjacent to a milkweed flower, you can breed your butterfly. You will pay the breeding cost for that generation notated on the side of the map board. To gain a generation two butterfly, it costs two of any matching flowers or three of a kind, etc., etc. After paying the tokens, place the next generation butterfly on the same space as your previous one. You're gonna to wanna to use your next generation butterflies from the gold card first. All butterflies move to the next generation tokens, except for the generation four butterflies. Since they are the last generation, when you breed new ones, you instead pay the cost and flip the token over so that the double butterflies are face up. These butterflies will move as one unit, but will count as two butterflies in Makoa Kai. If by breeding, all of the butterflies covering a goal card have been removed, you'll immediately flip that goal card over. This will let you plan for the upcoming seasons. At the end of your turn, if you played a regular action card, one with an orange bottom, you'll draw a new action card. If you have two of the same action cards or two cards that both let you reuse other cards, you can discard one or both of them and then draw new cards. After you have completed the number of rounds in a season, you'll discard all action cards played that round. Score this season's goals. If a goal or way station ability card has a star next to it, you're gonna score those points immediately and not wait until the end of the season. So I did not reach either of the spring goals, so I get zero points, but Devin, made his, so he will get six. If you are confused about any of the goal cards, page 11 and 12 in the rule book go in depth in what all of them mean. You'll then determine who the first player for the next round is. That's going to be the player with the lowest score, so me in this case. If there's a tie in a three or four person game, it will be the person in the tie who is on the left of the player who went first this round. Before this generation's butterflies die, they'll have the chance to reproduce one last time. If you have any of the next generation butterflies available, so two for spring, three for summer, left in your supply, you can hatch one butterfly for free without needing to be adjacent to a milkweed or to pay the cost. You will then remove the lowest generation butterfly left on the board. So all generation ones go away for spring, two goes away for summer. If the next season's goal card has not been revealed, you'll reveal it now. Fall is the final season of the game. At the end of fall, you'll have some additional scoring. So you will gain um, points based on the number of four generation butterflies that end in Makoa Khan. You will also get one point for each life cycle card you have. And if there were any benefits for points based on the bonus to the right of those lifestyle cards. If there's a tie, the player with the most butterflies in Makoa Khan wins. If still a tie, the highest number of flowers left in your pile wins. If still a tie, the largest 
number of life cycle cards you collected wins. If still a tie, you've defied the odds and the butterflies win instead. But you are now ready to play Mariposa. So that was how to play Mariposa. Let us know how you like that one down in the comments because Devin and I have opposing views and we would love to know who agrees with whom.